guys, guess what? Today I'm doing a hair tutorial. You request it, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna start doing hair tutorials on my channel as well. Yay, exciting. So, a couple months back I went to Moldova. I did two TV interviews while I was there and I posted a picture on Instagram with this hair look right here and you guys totally went crazy over it. It was just these sort of vintage waves inspired by my favorite celebrity ever as far as style goes, Blake Lively. If you're interested, keep on watching. I don't know why I said that because every single beauty guru on planet Earth does that in their videos and I'm just gonna say it as well. If you're interested, keep on watching because I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna walk you through every single step that I did to achieve this look. And first of all, I washed my hair. I washed it using these, uh, the Frederick Fakai shampoo and conditioner. This is from their advanced line. And obviously I'm gonna brush it like nothing too fancy. And this brush, I feel like it's very gentle and it really leaves my hair very soft and almost he adds a little bit of shine to it. And you guys know that I'm very conservative when it comes to heat to my hair. So what I do, I brush it and I let it air dry pretty much 90%. And then I put it on the cold setting of my blow dryer and then I just blow dry my hair uh, for the rest of the 10%. So one thing that I really like to do to my hair is either I apply oils or a glossing cream and this is like incredible. You guys have no idea. I just add a little bit to my hair, about this much. I rub it, oops, I rub it between my fingers and then I just um, apply it all over my hair and what this is going to do is going to eliminate any kind of freeziness and just really polish up the hair. And another thing that I also like to do is add a little bit of styling mousse and I only like to do that if I'm going to do like a crazy styling process like what I'm just about to do. So I'm going to do this full blown volume um, mousse by Frederick Fakai as well. And I don't like to add a lot, I sort of add like just about this much. And the ends. So my hair is pretty much dry, make sure that your hair is 100% dry before you proceed to using any kind of hot tools, otherwise you're just going to fry your hair. So right here I have the KQC, I forgot which one this is, I think it's the one inch, but I'm going to find it and link it down below. I need to not burn myself, like do you think we can do it? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to section my hair obviously, I'm just going to leave a bottom section. And I'm not going to show you the whole head because this technique is pretty straightforward and the trick to this is that you do have to curl small sections of hair. It's going to take me forever because I have a lot of hair, but um, anything for you guys. So, um, I have a mirror right here, I'm going to look into it. So I'm going to take and basically, you know, put my iron upside down and just sort of curl around. Okay, so I'm going to hold it with my hand till it cools down. And now that I'm going to release it, this is what I'm going to do. And, and this is very easy. I'm just gonna like pull down and this is gonna sort of fluff it out like that and let it loose. Do you see what I did there? And like this created the wave. I just basically pulled on the little end and instead of this being like a tight curl, now it's sort of this really nice wave. Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate again. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to wrap this around the barrel like you normally would with any kind of curling tutorial, very carefully. Release it in the palm of your hand and hold it till it becomes cold or cool. I don't know. I'm allergic to something. So now that you release it, it's sort of this like tight pigtail. So what you're going to do is pull it and fluff it, spread it apart. You see? So pull it and then sort of carefully fluff it. So now what you have is this vintage wave instead of a spiral. Okay, so five hours later, I'm finally done curling my hair and I really burned my finger, of course, because I'm Evelina. So this is not the finished product. What I'm going to have to do is connect all these curls via the comb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not brush the whole hair, but I'm just going to brush in between the waves, just like that, to kind of bring them together. And then right here is the next wave. So I'm going to brush it together and then the next wave, as you can see it's sort of starting to form this wavy formation. So now that I kind of connected all the waves together where they're not individual curls, I'm going to set them using these hair clips and I'm just going to put it where the wave starts, kind of like in between to sort of connect them.
Not that the hair is pinned, and this is going to really form those beautiful uniform vintage waves. I'm going to set it with the hairspray, and this is the Flexible Hairspray by Frederick Fekai. I'm just going to cover my eyes because you guys know how I always get it in my eyes. So that's about it, and I'm just going to let it sit like that for about 10 minutes. So it's time to remove the clips, and let's see how our final result is going to look like. So this is it. I hope that you enjoyed this hair tutorial. I really love this look. It's very chic, glamorous, perfect for a party, night out. Thank you, Blake Lively. You're awesome, like always, for this super awesome hair idea. Oh, and before I forget, Style Hall is giving away a year worth of Frederick Fekai products. Definitely enter it. I'll leave all the information and all of that down below. If you guys want to have a year worth of this stuff, it's pretty freaking sweet. I definitely recommend entering it. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. As always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.